Yeah, what's your favorite sauce or dressing to add to those fries? Um, well, I don't... That's a tricky question. This is so... We're in Belgium right now. I don't yeah. know if you know. Um, ah, what? But, yeah, I don't want a surprise. <laughs> So we don't get. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> don't get it's not your first. <laughs> yeah. This first podcast. <laughs> Alright. You good? I'm good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gossip Guy Podcast. My name is Anna Scholtens. Today I'm here with Maisie Peters. Hello. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. I asked you before this podcast, but is this your first time in Belgium? It's not. I have been before. Um, I came for like one day right before the pandemic, mm -hmm. and then I came a few years ago and played a show here, which I can't actually really remember. So, <laughs> oh? arguably, <laughs> not for any suspicious reasons. I have yeah. just a long time ago. Um, but arguably, this is one of my first more memorable times in Belgium. Okay, let's make it memorable. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna have fries in a minute. Yeah. Go through the wine, every single every single bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're in a, a winery in, in, in Brussels. Yeah, as right you now. do. Cas yeah. Just a casual wine bar <laughs> on, a, on a Monday. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I've, I've, we uh, usually have a studio in Ghent. Mm -hmm. you know, we talked about it, but uh, now we were able to sit here, we which is cool. Yeah. Um, well, I guess most people will know you who watch this podcast, but for people who don't, where could they know you from? Um, I'm a musician. A musician. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I make, song, <laughs> I make songs occasionally. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. And um, how long have you been doing this? Just some broad questions, but how long yeah, have you been making music? <laughs> Vague. I like it. Um, how long mm. have I been doing music? I feel like I've been writing songs mm. since I was maybe 12, um, and I've been sort of putting out songs on you. I started putting out songs on YouTube and Facebook when I was like 15. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, I put out my first song on Spotify when I was 17. And now I'm 21, I just put out my album. And there you go. So wow, wow. you've been doing music for a while. And what was the, at what age did you realize, oh, I might be able to make this work. This might just be my career for the next couple of years. I don't know. I feel like maybe when you, when you s sign a record deal, mm -hmm. um, which I did, I feel like then you're sort of like, oh, okay, I can sort of live. Yeah. <laughs> I can buy food and uh -huh. pay rent and do this, which is very crazy. It's already like a very crazy thought that you can, anyone can do that. Um, so and you so, can yeah, focus full time on Yeah, music. I guess so. Uh -huh. When you sort of are able to say that you can do that as your job yeah. and support yourself, then that's probably it, which is very cool. Mm. And you, you said you studied something before you... Have you quit your studies? Yeah, so oh. I studied until I was, I was 18 and then I graduated. Yeah. Um, but I did do... Uh, like a history, um, one of my studies was in history, yeah. and I studied the Tudors, and I was giving you really boring facts earlier mm. about um, <laughs> trade, boring, trade boring. treaties between uh. Belgium and the UK, because uh. that's the sort of girl I am. Um, cool. But yeah, I very much enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And when did you quit the studies? Was oh, when I was 18, when I, f uh. I finished school, and I uh. right. got my grades, and then I said Skips. goodbye to All university, right. and I went Perfect. to do music. All right. Well, I have a, a question that I came up with just a couple of minutes ago, but I thought it was interesting. What is a lot of money? What's a lot of money? Great question. Okay, off the bat. <laughs> are you, what is a lot of money? Is that your question? Yeah. Um, there's no right answer. There's right? no right answer. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to match it with, a, with a, an answer that makes no sense either. Okay. Um, what is a lot of money? Um, probably, well, well. That's a good, what's money? Because, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because are we talking, is it like physical anymore? Because mm -hmm. this is my Ooh. question. Oh, damn. I, I have many, I have many thoughts on this, but like money's okay. not physical anymore. So mm -hmm. no one has any, does anyone have anything in the bank? I, I don't know. It's mm. not, the bank is not the thing it was back in the day. This is such a hilarious yeah. turn of events. But like 10 minutes All in, good. it's like, what is money? Um, <laughs> <All good. laughs> communism. Um, but <laughs> if, if suddenly like, the internet was to shut down. And it's something like mm -hmm. s the servers of, I don't know, whatever online banking is shut yeah. down. We would all like have nothing. Huh. You you can have, and we're not even, when you're withdrawing money from the bank and you're paying mm -hmm. for everyone, you know, who pays with cash anymore. Yeah. You're not actually paying with anything. It's all just imaginary. You just trust sub the, substance. Yeah. yeah, that's going back and forth and back and forth uh. and from one to another. Bank. And those numbers can get really big. You can, you know, yeah. thousands and hundreds of thousands of like imaginary coins. Uh. So truly, someone could just decide. Or, have you read the book Sapiens? I have it, I have it in my room. I didn't read okay. it yet. This yeah. is, we're very, in very Sapiens territory uh. because someone once just decided like the the concept of like m online money is a thing. Yeah. But if some, if like a lot of people just turned around and was like, 
no, it's not. Like yeah. the 10 most influential richest people in the world mm-hmm. turn around and we're like, from now on, we're only accepting and the world is only going to accept physical money. Mm-hmm. That would probably have implications and a yeah. lot of us would probably be like, well, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. like who decides? Anyway, uh, that's... Yeah, I have, right now, I have like 70 cents in my pockets. Mm-hmm. That's all the cash I have at the moment. So if people would decide to not accept, well, yeah, well, the bank transfers... Mm-hmm. I'm fucked. Yeah, I mean, uh. I don't think I have any cash on me. I oh. never have any cash on me anymore. So I'll be richer than you. So you would be richer than Damn. me. Yeah, I would okay. actually have to probably come with you. <laughs> okay. That's, that would be the end of that. Just mm. off I go. To Belgium mm. I go. Couldn't do get you, home. Do you, do you have any of the cryptocurrencies then? If you, uh... I've never... No, I've not. But I'm not knowledgeable about it. Mm. So I've just never have. But I've got friends who have. Yeah. And who have done super well. And also mm. super not well. Yeah. Um, and I think it's really interesting. I would like to know more about it. But mm. I don't have a lot of space in my mind for that. <laughs> you don't have a lot of space. <laughs> no. Okay. You know, um, where does the... Where, what occupies the most space in your brain? Um, Is it songs? Yeah, probably music and mm-hmm. songs. And... Yeah, I mean, so I, I always have this conversation with my housemates. Mm-hmm. Um, we talk a lot about, like, the actual... What's actually in your mind. Because uh-huh. we realized the other day, or a few months ago, that one of my housemates, she doesn't have any thoughts... <laughs> None. Get ready for the No, None. you're going to enjoy... Okay. Like, and this is actually really fun. It's fun to ask people this. Because uh-huh. we were talking and she was like, Maisie, you know, like your mind sounds so stressful. And I was like, yeah, it's... You know, there's always like music playing. I can, mm-hmm. I feel like I could shut my eyes and there's like a song just like going round and round and round and round. Yeah. And there's always, you know, I'm like constantly thinking... I can like... Sh- if you shut your eyes, like what are you picturing? And there's like a lot of like banging doors and things that aren't like fully mm-hmm. there. And if you know, I t- I'm really not good at sleeping because I'll think of like a thousand things. Yeah. And my housemate's called Hannah and I was like, well, what do you think about it? She's like, nothing. And I was like, well, what about when you go to sleep? She's like, well, I go to sleep. And I was like, what, do you not think about, you know, things you did that were embarrassing? And she was like, no, I've already done them. And I was like, what? What? Oh, damn, that's she's a cool ne- way. She literally, um, so, and then sometimes she'll like come in to my room and she'll be like, Maisie, like I've had a thought. And I'm like, okay. She's like, <laughs> my, and my thought is, and then it'll be something really random, like which compass direction is our house facing? And then she figured it out mm. and now the thought's done. Um, so all in all, do you, what are your, do you have thoughts? Uh, do you have a constantly running monologue? I have way too many thoughts mm-hmm. all the time. I, I get overwhelmed by my own thoughts mm-hmm. a lot. Because I have I've now, <laughs> since a month ago, I started planning everything. Mm-hmm. So I have my nice. agenda is, is fully packed for the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. So I know what to do. But still, there's a lot of things that I, I realize, oh, shit, I should do this or I should... Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm not good at... I always, always have earphones and I always have music. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I just listen to a lot of music, to be honest, but I don't understand people that can just, like, sit mm. and just stare. At stare. Stuff. I'm like, yeah. how do you do that? I could definitely not. I think I'd actually just, like, uh-huh. explode. Do you get overwhelmed easily by things? No, I wouldn't say so. I think I'm pretty good at, like, functioning at high capacity. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty – I'm actually pretty methodical, maybe. I'm quite mm, – sort of – it's, like, chaotic – chaotic organization where it makes no sense but like there is loose logic to it um but yeah i think and that's sort of the more i have to do i guess sort of the more like robotic you just get you just like do the things you have to do and go to sleep and repeat um but yeah definitely it can it can get a lot sometimes all right another question do you think life is short or long these are great questions. <laughs> um, I'm nice so obsessed. I love it. Um, okay, cool. Do I think life is short or long? Mm. Um, well, real, objectively short, if you look at like the amount of years there are the, in the, that have been, yeah, you know, many thousands and thousands. Yeah. Um, but I also, I think there's like a young person's naivety that you think mm-hmm. life is long because you're young. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm that naive person. You I are, think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, but which I, no, so am I. And, mm. How do, how old are you? Twenty two. Okay, cool. I'm twenty one, yeah. um, and you know you have we have the a whole decade basically left mm. of, the twi- of your twenties, mm. and then you get to thirty, and then I was thinking I was like that's still quite young though. Yeah, like, that's still very young. Yeah. Like in a good way, I was like okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I've got ages. Because um, yeah. you, you're twenty now, twenty one now, and in best case scenario, you're still gotta live this time for like three more times you get 80 so you still have 60 more years yes because we're turning now i'm there the maths caught me up um so you're in one fourth of your life or something very true and i feel like there's definitely like nowadays there's a 
there's a real emphasis on, I was talking about this the other day with my friend, on mm -hmm. like um, rushing through things mm -hmm. and feeling like you're far behind um, and feeling like you need, to get ev you need to get everywhere in your life and mm -hmm. achieve everything you want to as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, which obviously I like, I'm guilty of feeling, I'm sure you are as well, everyone feels like that. And I think especially because like there's such a culture of comparison and yeah. it's very easy to, but I was speaking about it the other day and you sort of realize that life is so long and there's so much time that is, I think as long as whatever you want to be doing, as long as you're like slowly mm. improving in it and as long as you're doing that in a way that makes you happy like day to day, yeah. then I, I kind of think it's fine. And I look at a lot of like my heroes and my role models and like Casey Musgraves um, won her Grammy for Golden Hour and she was like 31. Yeah. And I think that's really cool you to see. You still get time. You still, yeah, there's yeah. so much time. Mm -hmm. No, nah, same. I think what so you said a lot. Is this, by the way, is this your first podcast? No. Is this my first podcast? Is this your first podcast? I've done some podcasts before. Okay. Why? No, because you're great at it. <laughs> you, you just it's it's really <laughs> nice like, to, to record a podcast with you because you just you say a lot <laughs> and it's not you're not waiting for another oh, question, which is cool. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. So what you what you were saying? You're worrying now about what you have to do in in I don't know a week, a mm -hmm. year, ten years. Do you feel? Do you ever feel like you're worrying now about where you should be in your thirties or something? Yeah, I that, definitely yeah. feel like I worry mm. a lot about. I know you. I'm trying to do that less. You know, you mm. worry about where you're going to be, and if you're where you wanted to be. You know, when I was 18, I don't know what I thought I was doing. I would be doing at 21, and I'm like, is this what I thought I would be doing? Yeah. Is this where I thought I would be? And um, what's the answer? What's the answer? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I'm trying to think of where I was when I was 18. Mm -hmm. In some ways, in mm -hmm. some ways, I think I would, I think I would, I always like the idea of like, if your 18 year old self saw yourself now, mm. or maybe not 18, maybe like 16. If your 16 year old self saw yourself now, like would they think you were cool? And I think my 16 year old self would think I was cool. Would Same. you think yours would? I, I, I like to think so, yeah. Yeah, and uh. I think that's mainly important. Uh -huh. Okay. So you're hoping you're, you would think the 30 year old you would be cool. I hope I look at 30 year old me and I'm like, she is a girl boss. Like, yeah. I hope I look at 30 year old me and I'm like, wow, like, I, that is, it. she's yeah. got her shit together. Do you have some goals you want to achieve before you're 30? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have a lot of goals. I have a, like so many things I want to do, but also in the spirit of this conversation, maybe we shouldn't be setting goals to a specific age because mm. that's not the spirit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to like own, like own a house or like own wherever I live when I'm 30. I'd like to have a cat. Oh, um, okay. Because I'd like to have a lifestyle where I'm 30 where red I can or, own red a cat. cats and dogs? Yeah, I'm more of a cat person. Okay, same. Dogs, I have, just, I have really? A I have a cat. I like dogs. <gasps> I, Me I would too. love to have a dog one day. I think when you say you're a cat, people people assume you like hate dogs. You're like, no, no. like I, I just prefer cats. Like, mm -hmm. what's, it's not like a vent, you know, mm -hmm. you can like both anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a different conversation. Um, I would like to have a cat. I'd like to like know where I, I'd like to still live in London. I'd like to s sort of be in touch with people that I still consider really good friends now. You know, I'd mm -hmm. like to have traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to be able to still travel. I guess, yeah. I don't know, a lot of it is like lifestyle. Maybe that's getting older. You realize your goals are more lifestyle oriented mm -hmm. than they are. Could be. Like we're not old yet, so. Specific uh, things. No, but I was just thinking that, like, maybe, like, a few years ago, I would have been, like, uh, I want to, like, have this number one. Like, yeah. And, like, have played this venue. Yeah. And now all the things I think about being goals mm -hmm. probably come with that. Mm -hmm. But, like, are actually more about, like, lifestyle and happiness. You know what's funny? Because uh, we're talking about all these deep yeah. uh, topics and stuff. Often I think while I'm saying stuff that, damn... In 10 years, I'm going to look at, back at this and think, how naive. Or you were a fucking you know? idiot. Yeah. Yes, I do think so that So what as well. the fuck are you saying? I, I'm, I've, I've had that feeling once when I was, I looked look back at a podcast for, from two years ago, and I just disagreed with me, myself completely. That's so so that's interesting. But that's the reason we'll I don't actually watch a lot of my own we'll podcasts. We'll look back. <laughs> we'll oh look God. back. Look In a year. <laughs> yeah, no, I, would, I can't watch anything. Yeah. Like interviews, just no, yeah? never okay. watch. And... Like music videos and stuff. Do, do you like to watch those? Mm, some not mm, if they're relatively recent, then maybe. Uh -huh. But to be honest, no, I don't tend to watch back things. Um, I never look at I never look at photos from photo shoots really. 
Oh, okay. Um, I, I do listen back to music, but honestly not as much as you would think. I feel like once you release something, for me, I, it's, it's out there and it's sort of like, you know, like when you're a kid and you like let go of a balloon and it yeah. floats away. Okay. That's what I feel like releasing music is. Like, it's like you let it go and you just, I very quickly, I'm like, okay, what's next? It's a cool comparison. Thank like you. the balloon. Ah, there you go. Um, okay. That's interesting. Now, you li you're, you're alive. You've been alive for 21 years. I have been. What's something you've learned about people? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Something that stands <laughs> what out. What a good question. Okay. What have I learned about people? Um, I, learned, I learned this relatively early on, I feel like, in my mm -hmm. teenage years. And I, I don't apply it as often as I should. But I think it's... I say it to everyone I know. Mm -hmm. um, it becomes like kind of a mantra. It's like... I think especially when you're a teenager and like even now, like, you know, early 20s, you're still a, a child. Um, you think so much about how other people perceive you or like what other people think about you. When in reality, we're all so incredibly self-absorbed, especially mm -hmm. as young people. Like you're actually, you spend so much time thinking about yourself. You're actually not thinking about anybody else really mm -hmm. At all. Like yeah. you, you maybe think about like three of the closest people in your life and then you maybe think about them like, I don't know, somewhat of the time. Mm. But really for the most part, you're thinking about yourself. Yeah. And like not in a, we're not all like selfish creatures, I don't think, but yeah. it's like, you just do. So like when you do something really embarrassing or you, or you think you said something weird or yeah. like there's somebody that whatever i just am like no like literally no one cares yeah because they like, actually don't like the, the the cringy moments you think about when you're in yeah. the shower and you think like what they why the fuck it. did i do that or, yeah. or how did this happen to me mm -hmm. you know but chances are very small no people anyone just cares don't notice the because yeah. they actually don't care yeah um because they're actually like it's sort of it's interesting it's like you so often think about how Hang on, hang on, how do I say this? Like, <laughs> I'm thinking about how I look right now, mm -hmm. and you're probably thinking about how you look right now. Yeah, but I just I'm, got a mullet, and I don't know if it looks I great. I like mullet. Yeah. I think it looks good, genuinely. Yeah, cool. I mean, I probably wouldn't tell you if it looked bad. I just <laughs> met you. Not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But this, no, but this is the thing. So you're thinking about that, I'm thinking about this. But I haven't, like, l I didn't ever look at you when you came in and think, I didn't, like, look you up and down and objectively uh. run through your whole outfit mm. and your face and think all these things. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I know you did to me, obviously, um, but but you don't. Yeah. You just don't notice. You just wouldn't. Yeah, true. You like look at I. You know, you look at someone like that, and then you look away, and then you think about yourself again. Mm. So there's that. True. That might be a pessimistic view, and I think that as you get older, you maybe think about yourself less. Yeah, I don't think that's a pessimistic view. I think that's a really. I think that's it's sounds kind of logical. Yeah, I think it's kind of nice because yeah. it makes you realize that mm -hmm. you don't need to be so obsessed because people yeah. just aren't really concentrating. Uh -huh. True. What have What have you learned? Oh, damn, I didn't expect you to. <laughs> How did you not expect me to throw <laughs> it back? <laughs> Fuck. Um, I feel like, I think people are the most interesting thing on this planet, first of all. So I, I think I've learned a lot. Um, I'm, I'm, I was going to say something really cliche. I, Go on. Something about giving and taking. I just, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, giving and taking. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have to confess, I didn't really didn't prepare. You should prepare your answer to these things. <sighs> I barely prepare my questions. Yeah, that's, so. <laughs> that's very fair. That's very fair. Um, yeah, I, I think I. You are. Uh, you. I'm looking for the. You're a product of your surroundings. Yes. So, if I want to be, so, if I feel like shit, sometimes. It happens because there are some negative people around you. And if you surround yourself with positive people like Sven right there, people who have uplifting spirits and stuff and, and who are doing stuff with their lives can motivate you and inspire you even mm -hmm. how do you, subliminally mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in the way you'll be as a, as a person. Mm -hmm. and I feel like my surroundings, I, I am very careful I'm I'm pretty picky with the people I mm -hmm. let in my life, or how do you say that? Like, and I'm I'm happy with the people are, who are in my life now. I don't really feel the need for new friends or something. Uh, I'm I'm open to new friends, but uh, so I think not, it's we're not friends. We're not friends. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're not friends. No. <laughs> no, I mean I'm I'm open to new friends, but I think like it's it's really important to to 
choose the right mm -hmm. people and you can choose the people you hang yes, out with you, can. you don't have to feel like obligated to hang out with someone just because they make you feel like you're obligated to hang out with them mm -hmm. and i don't know just focus on yourself and choose the people you want to hang out with because that's important I feel like that's a real. I hate it when I have to talk in this podcast. Well, so. unfortunately, <laughs> it's a podcast, so you gotta have okay. to go. Now I know that I'm gonna ask you more things. Nah. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I have this really childish, que childish question. Okay, yeah. Cool. Um, you walk out of Brussels Central Station and you see on the ground 50 euros, 50 mm -hmm. pounds. Yeah. And on right on top of the, the bill. Yeah. Is a steaming hot poo. Okay. Do you pick up the 50 pounds or not? Um, no. No? Mm, I, d I think, realistically, I'm going to take this question very seriously yeah, and think what it. I would yeah. do. No, because maybe I just don't want the 50 pounds enough, which uh -huh. is fair. Maybe okay. I don't. Um, I'm lucky enough to not really, really want the 50 pounds. Yeah. But also, some would say, I'm not superstitious, but like, There's actually like a, there's actually logic to signs sometimes where mm -hmm. I think it's it's I'm not superstitious but it's like well there's there's a reason why that's uh -huh. there like that don't it's getting involved in things you maybe shouldn't if there's yeah. a, such an obvious glaring sign uh -huh. that maybe that 50 pound is not for you yeah okay um I'm I'm probably just gonna just Leave gonna it. pass on that because uh -huh. I never had the 50 pounds to begin with if I lost 50 pounds mm. maybe that would be different because I wouldn't lost go into it. a store and just try to Oh, uh, like remove it. it? Yeah. I don't think I would care that much. It's not my 50 pounds. Uh, uh, okay. But I'm, I think it's different if you've... Because you've not, you're not missing anything. You, you could gain 50 pounds, but if you don't, you're, yeah. you haven't lost it. Whereas uh. if I'd come to Brussels with 100 pounds and then I'd lost 50 uh. and then I'd found the 50... Yeah. Or you drop 50 into I'd, some yeah. poop. And okay. then that had happened. I think then mm. maybe I would consider mm -hmm. other options. Mm. But in your case, though, I never Fair had enough. it to begin with. So yeah. I can forget about okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right. You can't miss what you never had. True. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Poignant. Now, uh, some, some, some more uh, tasteful questions, maybe. Uh, okay. They're uh, coming in here with some fries in a minute. Apparently. What's, yeah, what's your favorite sauce or dressing to add to those fries? Um, well, I don't... That's a tricky question. This is so... We're in Belgium right now. I don't yeah. know if you know. Um, ah, what? But, yeah, I know. What a surprise. Uh -huh. But... And obviously, it's like a thing, I think, like Belgian fries. Yeah, it's Or not French fries, it's Belgian fries. Belgian fries is mm. a thing. Okay, cool. So when I said I wanted fries earlier to Olivia, who I was with, mm -hmm. it was more of a general, like, I know they're good, I just, mm -hmm. I, but I don't know really what they come with or what yeah. they are. I just sort of want to try. Uh -huh. um, so that's Belgian fries, one thing. If I was just, like, having fries back in London, mm -hmm. I'd probably just do ketchup. Sort ketchup. Of. Okay. I actually do like it's vinegar as well, though. But that's not really a wow. sauce, I guess. Okay. But that's like an English. I don't know if it's anything. And we sure. don't eat vinegar don't do with no. You just like put vinegar on no. I don't. Great. Maybe some people. You do? No. No. <laughs> we don't. It's just a head shake. Belgium. No. Yeah, but um, no, ketchup is my go-to as well. Okay, good. So. I don't really like mayonnaise. Nah, me too. I'm me neither. Be honest. Something nah. about it, like. In Belgium, it's it's the go-to sauce for a lot of people. Yeah, it's funny. It's uh, nodding in the back as well. But I don't like mayonnaise. I'm gonna get cancelled for this. Uh, you are. Like, uh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> mayonnaise. Hey. Yuppie sauce, do you know? I've never heard those words. Best sauce <laughs> in the world, hands down. Okay, babe, yeah. that's a big claim. Yeah, uh, okay. we, should, we should have told them to, to bring some yuppie it's sauce. It's disappointing. It's Maybe they will. Maybe they'll know. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're not going to end the podcast or something, but I'd just like to ask my guests mm -hmm. if there's something they want to share with the world before we yeah. end this podcast eventually. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, have, I have five people watching this regularly, regularly okay, nice. so, so yeah so there's a lot at mm -hmm. stake here yeah, um yeah. okay cool is there anything i want to share yeah um what do people normally share anything. people say be nice to each other but you can do anything oh, this is okay. your moment so okay, cool. people try to give some inspirational message and you can if you want to i don't think i'm gonna do that doesn't okay. feel very on brand mm. what am i gonna share <laughs> does it feel on brand <laughs> no giving a positive message uh, mm. Um, what am I going to share? What a great question. Mm -hmm. That's because we all share all the time. I talk oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. And, but what do I actually intentionally want to share? Yeah. Oh no. Do you feel like you talk too much some, sometimes? Because I do. I post social media content every day. Yes. But that's the, that's the job you have to. Yeah. But also 
definitely I do think that because it's like so much of yourself all the time Mm -hmm. and it's hard not to be like, is this necessary? Yeah. And honestly, is Uh, it? All of it? No. Lots of it is actually uh, not necessary, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it because it's part of like a bigger thing. That's how I justify it, you know. Mm. Part of social media is just part of a bigger thing, but it is difficult because... I, yeah, I, I don't know about if you notice this, but I feel like there's going to be a sort of, um, I don't know what the word is, like a sort of, not regression, but I, I see it already in a lot of my friends that aren't in mm. music or that, or that aren't doing like bleh, like jobs like this. Yeah. Well, like they don't really use social media. Yeah. Um, and it's not, they'll sort of, they've almost gone backwards where it's mm. like they don't really, like half of them don't have Instagram. They don't use Instagram. Yeah. Like, sort of people will like scroll and stuff, but they don't really post. It's almost yeah. become like the cooler thing to not post. Yeah. And I wonder if we're going to see like in the next 10, 20 years, everyone go back to, mm-hmm. you know. Because yeah. like, also, I don't, again, I don't know about you, but all of my friends use um, like film cameras, disposable cameras. I have some, yeah. yeah. I have one with me right now, I think. Huh. Yeah. I actually bought one the other day, but I think I got scammed. So oh, sad yeah. times. Um, <laughs> sad times. <laughs> Happens, yeah. Classic. Um, I- I also yeah. think people had some sort of overdose during the pandemic, maybe, that everyone was constantly scrolling yeah. and now they're just doing stuff. It was, <laughs> it was no, a really any... a lot. Yeah. Have you ever taken well. a break off of social media and interviews and stuff uh, and realized, damn, I talk a lot or something? <laughs> I honestly, truly have not. I don't think I've taken a break from social media in like years oh damn like okay. if i went on holiday i actually went on holiday last week mm-hmm. or this is like i came straight from there to Be- um belgium but mm-hmm. i went to portugal with my friend and that was the first holiday i've been on, on in like four years but oh, i damn. still i was still posting i was mm-hmm. still sort of using social media because it's so ingrained in me now and that's like one of actually my least favorite things about this job mm-hmm. and it's like one of the only things because i love so many aspects of it yeah. but i really don't like I don't know if you have this as well. I really don't like how it's like actually ingrained in my brain, like it's actually within my skull that at all times, like whatever I'm doing, if something cool happens or if like I'm in a moment and it's sweet or it's exciting or it's funny or it's whatever, mm-hmm. like at all moments, some, some part of me is like, are you getting this? Like, are you capturing it? Have you filmed it? And I don't, my friends don't do that. And I know that because I, I see them not do that. And mm-hmm. I'm the only, like not the only one, it depends who you're with in the group, mm-hmm. but I'm, all, and I always do that, and I think I'll do it for a long time until I literally throw my phone in the ocean, and yeah. I'm like, but I can't do that because of what I do. Yeah. So I think for the foreseeable future, I l- you actually you actually can't live like 100% in the moment. You're like 80%, yeah. 70% in the mm-hmm. moment, and 30% like, should I be getting this? What angle should I be getting this from? Should I yeah. set my phone up over there? Like, uh. should I just press record and then come and join the group again? It's funny because you literally described what's going on in my mind 24-7. Because you're doing music and you have to keep up with the social media platforms mm-hmm. and stuff. I'm only doing social media. So I have mm. three cameras on me at all time. I have my um, phone, I have mm. one of these vlog cameras, and I have a disposable camera. So I have like, I have five different Instagram accounts I'm managing right now. You have five? Yeah, what I are they? One of my friend group, the Gabbers. It's just a group of friends where we post videos of our Do you guys have group. a following? Yeah, well, that that's a smaller page because I I think I I didn't haven't posted in a year or something. But like, do you guys just post for each other to see, or is there people following and oh, watching? Oh, yes, people are following and watching. But okay, I cool. have, uh, interesting. The vlogs I make are mm-hmm. that's the whole idea. We make videos mm-hmm. together so we can watch them when we're old, when we're forty. And 50. but other people watch them as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just started making videos for my friends, and I made I had I had to some have some sort of pressure because. I had footage from the, uh, some holidays yeah. and like days of footage, un- unedited footage. And I just thought I have to do something with this because you don't watch unedited yeah, videos yeah, yeah. a lot. So I'm, I started making vlogs and I just said, OK, I'm going to post one every Wednesday on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Just so I had a, some sort of deadline for myself. Yeah, yeah. And I, I started posting those for my friends and people just started picking up and and. and watching those vlogs and then I only had positive feedback so I thought why not keep on posting these mm-hmm. um so that's the whole idea I make videos so we can watch them when we're 50 60 Which I don't know great. um 
but people started watching and do you feel amazing. pressure though being the so you're like the chronologica no what's the word i'm looking for chrono yeah. chronologist Chrono- maybe yeah. maybe yeah, yeah. it's that yeah, yeah. you are the recorder mm-hmm. of your friend group and you're yeah. saying and it's really that's so that's so cool because mm-hmm. you're right you are gonna have it to look back on yeah. but it's also like bizarrely become your job to mm. like make sure, be, yeah. make sure that like all of the moments within that friend group are like documented and that's like your job and your mm. responsibility and it's also not but now it is actually your job yeah. which is even worse in a way although mm. cool as well yeah. but it's funny because it's it, it's actually it's a good thing mm-hmm. and I also think that as well that you're I think what the idea of the vlogs of your friends mm-hmm. and you is actually one of the best ways to use social media and I think I, so too yeah I always think that you know actually my friend said it to me the other day on holiday she was like Maisie it's so cool because really you get so much footage of your life yeah. that other people don't really get we were saying mm-hmm. how you know people who maybe don't do stuff like this. They'll have like a video of their wedding day maybe and mm-hmm. like occasional photos from like gatherings. Mm-hmm. But we have constant footage of yes. everything yeah. all uh-huh. the time, which is cool. Yeah, it is cool. It is cool. Um, but just, it's what you're, you're saying. Do I have to film this anytime there's something happening? Because I was this morning, one of my friends started singing karaoke through this new box we, we bought. It's just a speaker with a microphone. Mm-hmm. He started singing ABBA, and I don't know. I just joined in, mm-hmm. and then I was thinking, damn, do I need to film this? And I made an Instagram story. I did. I yeah. did film something. I, I enjoyed the moment afterwards, but it's weird that I have something, some little voice tell me at all times, record this. Yeah. This is funny. It's this really is cool. weird. Yeah. Anyway. I, I like it though. I like social media. I like having me too. Mm. I like social media, mm. and I like having footage of things. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so I and I do think it's like an overall positive thing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is a whole different conversation now. <laughs> it's uh, all so good. This is very different. But mm. yeah, I know. I agree. I like social media too, uh. and I really like having being able to look back on things. Yeah. The reason I ask you if you ever. I've ever taken a break. Uh, it was because I did one day uh, for like a week. A week I didn't post anything. I didn't check anything. Did you, did you check it at all? No. I, I ch- maybe once or twice, but I was constantly thinking, okay. Anytime I, I thought about opening Instagram, I just put my phone away. Yeah. So maybe I did a few times. But I was, I was actively trying not to use social media. Mm-hmm. And when I tried to pick it up again and start posting again after a week, I realized, damn, does any of this matter? Does any of the shit I post actually matter? Does anyone care? Why would they care? Why do I expect them to care? It's, yeah. it's weird. It's, it's really weird. But it's weird. entertainment. I think um, that's what you have to see. It is entertainment for people. Mm-hmm. And it's... That's the way I see it now. That's important but it, enough for it to be a purpose. Yeah. But I fully agree. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my okay. goodness, thank you so much. So much. Yeah, yeah, just Can come in. Coffee? That's all good. Thanks so, so much, Evan. <laughs> oh, thank coffee you. or okay? Coffee. Mm. <laughs> thank you. <so> much. <laughs> what are these? Oh, little chocolate pieces. That's so ah, fun. Those um, chocolate. Oh, we have one of these. In, and anyway, sorry. Mm. Um, in conclusion, I don't know what you're saying. It's I don't entertainment. Know yeah, that's entertainment, which is yeah. important. Mm-hmm. But it, yeah, I don't know. I think that music is. I I'm lucky because music. Um, is like playing live and so like music is important not mm-hmm. that social media isn't it's important in yeah. a different way but music is like historically important you yeah. know like it's been proven for many years and I know that like music that I love is important to me so if mm-hmm. my music if by that logic it, my music is important to the people yeah. and shows are important um, so that's sort of what I focus on but social media is like a huge huge part of it nowadays yeah. like you would be r- wrong do, to say it isn't do you think that's sad in a way that social media has become such a big part of musical success some, sometimes. Yeah. I do because I think they're both really, I think they're both really important things. And mm-hmm. I think like being good at, so, like my favorite people on social media, I think is such a talent. Like it's actually like being a, it's like the new era of being like Jimmy Fallon. Mm-hmm. True. Um, yeah. So it's, it's like you're a, you're a huge personality. Like is if there any star you're thinking of when you say something like that? Yeah, I guess I do follow like a lot of people. I'm uh-huh. trying to think who would be um, loads of people I follow. There's a girl called Peach PRC who's Australian, who's really okay. funny on TikTok. Mm-hmm. There's a girl called Victoria Paris oh, who okay. lives I in know, New York. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, Which, and it's it's. I think they're so entertaining, both of them for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, I think it's a real talent, and obviously music is 
um, hello. Come in, yeah, it's all good. No, it's I'll come <laughs> back for the I'll come back for the fries or the food. No, it's, it's something Belgian, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's we can't let them get the uh, cold. I, I think we'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. all maybe, good. Maybe. Thank you mm. so much. Right. Um, I think they're both like really important and really mm -hmm. they both involve a lot of talent and skill. Yeah, but I don't necessarily think you can be really good at music and you can be really good at social media. Yeah, but it feels like to succeed in music, you need to have both. Yeah. And I don't know necessarily whether like that's the best thing because mm -hmm. I there are many musicians who are really t skilled and talented and yeah. it's now like not enough. You need to be good True. at this as well. Yeah. And they're not really they're not actually like relevant to each other. It's just sometimes you get like a lucky strike and you're good at both. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. But that's not like I don't know. It's not the worst thing in the nah. world. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's just. just not ideal, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are lots of people. I just think it might just sometimes take away from your focus on music or something. That you're in the studio and you think, I should maybe post something here I wouldn't instead of just making music. I, would, I wouldn't ever say it. The way I see it, it doesn't like detract focus. If it's like a, mm -hmm. it's not like you go from like, you go like 70% focus on music, 30 on social media. You just have to add 30%. Mm -hmm. So it, you have to get to like 130 because yeah. you have to be 100 on music, but also think about documenting yeah. it. But um, I think that it's it's hard. It can be hard. The pandemic was really hard. I'm sure you found that as mm -hmm. well because yeah. it was just You're everything was online. Not yeah, a the COVID pandemic, fan? No, no. It wasn't my favorite era, <laughs> um, as eras go. Uh. Um, was, everything was online and yeah. every, oh my goodness. Calls. Like a whole, another whole fun yeah. part of this is like numerical success on uh -huh. uh, social media. Yeah. And it actually, I don't know, so, social media is different, but like music, Spotify streams, mm -hmm. there's actually no objective reason why you should be able to see how much music's been listened to. Like you've never been able to do that, like no. real time, ever yeah. in music. Mm -hmm. You could see like album sales or single sales like after, yeah. not like a real time log of it. Mm. And I think that, like, if it disappeared, if mm -hmm. you could stop seeing that, I think ev lots of musicians would be much happier. Yeah. And it wouldn't matter. Like, music listeners don't care. Mm. You don't care how many times your favorite songs get listened to. Yeah, I think everybody's experienced, experiencing that on a smaller scale, maybe. that Your Instagram likes, they're now disappearing. But, I mean, it's so easy to compare yourself to the next, the, the so boy next door. I mean, is, is he cooler than me because it gets more likes or it's, it's so easy to compare yeah. yourself you said it uh, very fast uh, very quickly that's uh it's a comparison uh society we're living in um and it, that's true it's and it's for everybody uh confronting at times i think yeah. definitely it's well. just not really healthy no nah. it's also i mean i was talking to my friend about this this morning because her she lives in australia the one with the no thoughts or no different friends <laughs> okay. i have actually more than one it's okay, really amazing okay. <laughs> um this so she lives in australia and they've mm -hmm. just come out of lockdown in sydney okay. and her ex has just we were talking about this and i was saying you know is the coming out of a lockdown a good thing and she went well for me no um not right now uh because I have to see my ex like go out to um, uh, to pubs mm. and like go drinking. Like they're still friends, but that's this is mm. the exact thing. They're still friends. They're still close. But yeah. and then we were just talking about the fact that it's you shouldn't be able to see everyone's lives like that. Mm. And I'm I'm a big fan of the mute. I'll just yeah. I mute people all the time. Yeah. Fifty percent of people I follow are muted. muted yeah. I'm so sorry. Big fan <laughs> of the mute. Big fan of the mute. Yeah. Because it's like, you shouldn't be able to see like a highlights reel of, yeah. of people you know. It's it's bizarre. Mm. Yeah, and it's, kind of weird. it's like if someone. Yeah. What, how, how do you feel when you think about whether people could... How do you feel about the thought that people could find this video in 30 years mm -hmm. and hear whether or not you would pick up 50 pounds when there's shit on it? How do you feel about that? Um, I honestly think that there will be... There is such so much stuff on the internet all the time. There'll be such saturation that... If someone manages to find this in 50 years, then like good on them. Because mm -hmm. I feel like by then it will be just like buried under the mountain of stuff on the internet. Probably, yeah. So mm -hmm. I would say well done if you found well this. Well done. Uh, if you're seeing this in 2071, <laughs> comments. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, and uh, poop dollar yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, your fries are here. Um, I think we might just... Yeah, are you? Is there anything you want to share before we finish up? I don't think so. Nothing's nothing pressing. No. no. Okay, then um, I'll have to do just three things. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a, a Instagram 
Uh, mm -hmm. Twitter shout out to someone mm -hmm. who, uh, yeah, well, retweet my pin tweet is something I do. Thank you. Uh, I give them uh, not only a shout out but also stickers from this podcast, which Sorry, you can I get as well if you would. Yeah? I would love one. Okay, yes. I have some on, uh, on me. I think. Oh, wonderful. I hope. Um, <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna scroll through these retweets, and if you see one, do I? What do I pick? Just a name? You just say stop, maybe, and okay, then I'll stop. just. Eileen. Eileen. Bearings, Eileen. Thanks for watching. I appreciated it. We you appreciate did. you. Yeah, you too. Okay, <laughs> as well. Um, I'm going to give you some stickers, and I'm going to give you as well a couple of these stickers. One-handed. That yeah. is so exciting. See, here, I these are the, yeah, the 70 the cents I have. Yeah. Yeah. Add. <laughs> here is. Thank you. Give you. I love some. it. I love it. It will be going in my house. Yeah? Um, yeah, I always, I always take things... I'm, I'm going to need proof of that. But I will, I'll <laughs> I mean, take proof. I'm a woman of my word. <laughs> These are for you. Thank um, you. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. I wish you a lot of success. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Random. So fun. Yeah, that's it too. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to leave you to it. Enjoy your fries. And, Thank you uh, so much. See you next Monday. See All you right. next Monday. Peace. I will. <laughs> <See> you <well. laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Perfect. You. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so your fries don't get cold. Fries.